Hi students, here in this video we will be discussing all about rational numbers. Let us first recall in brief what we have learnt about rational numbers in the previous video. Sana wants to buy 3 pens at 5 rupees each. Her friend Satish wants to buy 2 similar pens. So, they went to a wholesale shop. Shopkeeper said that a packet of 5 pens cost 22 rupees. How much does each pen cost? We can easily calculate the cost of each pen by dividing 22 rupees by 5. But Sana wants to organize and represent her thinking before she tackles the division. Is there any whole number or integer to represent this cost? No. Let us discuss such types of numbers. These numbers are called rational numbers. The numbers which are expressed in the form of P divided by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero are called rational numbers. We can express any natural number example 5 as 5 over 1 which is clearly a rational number. Similarly, we can express any whole number example 0 as 0 over 1 which is the quotient of two integers with a non-zero denominator. We can also express any integer example negative 3 as negative 3 over 1 which is a rational number. From the above observation, we can conclude that all natural numbers, all whole numbers and all integers are also rational numbers. A rational number can be written with the different numerators and denominators. Consider the rational number negative 6 over 8. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator of this rational number by a positive integer 2, we get another rational number that is negative 12 over 16. We see that negative 6 over 8 is the same as negative 12 over 16. Next. We will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first rational number by a negative integer. Let's take negative 3. So we get another rational number 18 over negative 24. All three rational numbers are equal. Similarly, we can divide the numerator and the denominator of a rational number with the same integer to get another rational number that is equal to the given rational number. Here, six, negative 6 over 8. Dividing negative 6 and 8 by 2, we get another rational number negative 3 over 4. This rational number is equal to the pre uh, previous three rational numbers. So, 
negative 3 over 4 is equal to the previous three rational numbers. Such rational numbers that are equal to each other are said to be equivalent to each other. So, if the numerator and denominator of a rational number are multiplied or divided by a non-zero integer, we get a rational number which is said to be equivalent to the given rational number. Standard form of a rational number. A rational number is said to be in the standard form if it is in the lowest form and its denominator is positive. For example, the rational numbers 21 over 16, negative 7 over 9, negative 4 over 5 are in standard form. But the rational numbers 4 over negative 5, 12 over 16, negative 8 over 12 are not in the standard form. If a rational number is not in the standard form, then it can be reduced to the standard form. In order to express a given rational number in standard form, we divide its numerator and denominator by their highest common factor or HCF for short. Let's see how. Express negative 32 over 40 in standard form. So the given rational number is negative 32 over 40. HCF of 32 and 40 is 8. So we divide its numerator and denominator by 8. We get the result as negative 4 over 5. Now we cannot reduce this number further as 4 and 5 are co-prime. Therefore, negative 4 over 5 is the standard form of the given rational number. Let's take another example. Express 36 over negative 45 in standard form. So the given number is 36 over negative 45. If there is negative sign in the denominator, then divide by negative HCF. HCF of 36 and 49 is 9. Since the denominator of the given rational number is negative, we divide its numerator and denominator by negative 9. So, here the result is negative 4 over 5. Which is the standard form of the given rational number. Never explain yourself to anyone because the person who likes you doesn't need it and the person who dislikes you won't believe it.